Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. I want to thank Mike Painter for emailing me this problem, which comes from a 1957 math class. A man is standing due east of a tower and notes it subtends an angle of 45 degrees with the tower. He walks south 42.4 feet and the subtended angle is 30 degrees. How tall is the tower? Note, the subtended angle is from the ground to the top of the tower. Remember, this problem is from 1957, so you can only use pencil and paper. No calculators are allowed. But you can refer to whatever was commonly available in 1957, like trig tables, slide rules, etc. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So what's so amazing about this problem is the man can estimate the tower's height without knowing the distance to the base of the tower. This is useful if the tower's base is inaccessible, say, because the tower is protected by a wall or surrounded by a moat. And all we need is a little geometry. In particular, we'll use some properties of right triangles. We'll use the 45-45-90 isosceles right triangle. In this case, both of the legs have the same length. We'll also use the 30-60-90 right triangle. In this case, if the leg opposite 30 degrees is y, the leg opposite 60 degrees will be y times the square root of 3. Finally, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem. If we have a right triangle with legs of a and b, then its hypotenuse will be the square root of the quantity a squared plus b squared. So, the man is standing east of the tower, and he subtends a 45 degree angle with the tower. So we'll assume that the tower is perpendicular to the ground, and we have an angle of 45 degrees from the man. This creates an isosceles right triangle, a 45-45-90 right triangle. So if the tower's height is h, we can then use the property of this right triangle, to get that the other leg of the tower will also be h. So the distance from the man to the tower is also the same length as the height of the tower. Now, the man walks south 42.4 feet. So we'll visualize this. The man is walking south. This will be at a right angle. So we end up with another right triangle. We know that one leg is h, because that's the distance from before. Then the other leg will be 42.4 feet, because that's the distance the man walked. So we can then calculate the distance from the man to the tower using the Pythagorean theorem. So the distance from the man to the tower will be the square root of h squared plus 42.4 squared. We finally have one more right triangle to consider. From this position, the subtended angle to the tower is 30 degrees. So this creates one more right triangle. The subtended angle is 30 degrees, so the other angle is 60 degrees. So we have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So let me just rotate this diagram so it's a little easier to see. We know that the leg opposite 30 degrees is h and the leg opposite 60 degrees is the square root of the quantity h squared plus 42.4 squared. So how tall is the tower? Well, we can use the property of the 30, 60, 90 right triangle that the leg opposite 30 degrees, if that length is y, then the leg opposite 60 degrees is square root of three times that. From our diagram, we end up with the equality that the square root of h squared plus 42.4 squared will be equal to h times the square root of 3. We then square both sides of the equation. Then we collect the h squared terms. And then we solve for this equation, knowing that the height has to be a positive quantity. We end up that the height of the tower is equal to 21.2 times the square root of 2, which is approximately 29.98 feet. And we figured out how tall the tower is. Did you figure it out? 
Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. If you have a math topic, you can email me, presh at mindyourdecisions.com, and you can catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.